first of all, I know I'm on a, a strict timer, but thank you so much uh, for having me, Quinn, Francis, Scurf, um, and the whole team. There's so many people on this call that I consider um, colleagues, mentors, um, yeah, examples in the space, um, friends, and, and more. So thank you. Uh, so semi-fitting to go first, um, I would like to frame uh, the talk by talking about uh, entering the field. So, so I'm really speaking about what does it mean to research Web3? And uh, I'm speaking from a submission to the Web3 Carnival, which is a forthcoming collection um, by a number of people um, on this call that um, Quinn and a couple of others have coordinated. Uh, so this is my first time speaking on um, what I've submitted to that, which will be released soon. And what I argue is that Web3 is about a community of people trying to figure out how to infrastructure. So first question, is this Web3? Is it people, uh, memes and, and bear suits? And this image is uh, courtesy of uh, distinguished professor Jason Potts from when he was at ETH Denver this year, um, as well as the caption, this man has all your money. And we've just heard about kind of scams and uh, a lot of the kind of facade and, and parade and everything. So how do we uh, get past that and, and kind of enter this field? Well, as a digital ethnographer, largely um, supervised by by, uh, Ellie Rennie, who's on the call, as well as uh, Chris Berg from RMIT University. Uh, I'm using ethnographic techniques. Uh, all of my PhD has been um, during the pandemic uh, so far. It's actually my first time traveling now uh, since uh, working in, in Web3 and being on the road anyway. Uh, so online forums, uh, trying to access the space. And this is what I kind of detail some of these vignettes and, and anecdotes of, of what this experience is really like in the day to day of uh, observing, interviewing, uh, participating in Web3. And so what I uh, contend is that a helpful framework to think about researching Web3 is as infrastructure. And the goal of this, um, this lens, looking through kind of the lens of uh, infrastructure studies, is to synthesize some of the prefigurative ambitions of the space, um, the technical details, uh, the economic lenses, and uh, the political uh, dynamics, uh, to thinking about it as infrastructure. And so the verb to infrastructure denotes the activities and processes uh, of both social and technical dynamics of these systems. Uh, so not just uh, the people, not just the technology, but the kind of interplay between the both, between the two. And so I argue that Web3 is infrastructuring this kind of ongoing iterative process of doing. And uh, these processes are long term. So it's um, it's a verb, not a noun. And and I guess where blockchain comes into this uh, is that uh, based on the definition that Quinn provided at the start, it's quite helpful. I'm also talking about Web3 as uh, reading, writing and owning. And of course, in the owning component comes blockchain, this ability to kind of hold your own keys and, um, and kind of manage your own digital assets. And so using the lens of infrastructure and understanding this entire space uh, through the lens of communities and, and individuals trying to figure out how to infrastructure uh, is perhaps a, a useful access point to think about uh, what is good infrastructure. And a lot of uh, what I do in the space as an ethnographer, obviously a large component of that is communicating my work as, as a kind of feedback loop uh, to these communities to get input on my research, but also sort of provide a mirror or a lens back to the space in kind of um, uh, semi, semi real time. Uh, there, there's this open question in terms of it seems as though people are trying to figure out governance. Uh, they're trying to figure out what, you know, what does democracy mean? What makes good infrastructure? What are participatory infrastructures and all of these things? And so uh, potentially helpful approach to that is good infrastructure as um, having an animating, pur animating purpose. And that was discussed in the chat earlier, but supporting a particular activity, being able to adapt to changing circumstances and um, environments, and then um, moving towards this kind of ongoing, so this never done kind of sent uh, sentiment of maintenance and survivability. 
this is a kind of starting point for my broader research, which is around um, resilience in decentralized technologies and thinking about these dynamics of adaptability and transformability through decentralized infrastructures and the social outcomes that it produces. So I hope this has been, I guess, a helpful um, frame and also a good um, starting point to uh, whet people's appetite for that special collection that's coming out and um, really happy to have further conversation on this. Thank you.